Hi everyone, today we're going to review the JCID D11. With this video we just want to let you know that this product exists because it can save you a lot of time while doing micro soldering repairs. This device can help you find shorts on your board really easy. There is a JCID sticker to check its legitimacy on the box. Here is the code if you're interested in checking that. Now that we've quickly shown the box, let's open it up. We're greeted with the manual, but let's put that aside for now. Next we see the D11 itself and the Bluetooth adapter. The Bluetooth adapter is normal USB 3. Up next is the D11 itself. The casing is plastic and at the top there's a USB-C port for charging. At the bottom there's a jack connector for multimeter probes. Let's take out the bottom of the box. We find a USB to USB-C cable here. Along with a external cable adapter. We are not exactly sure on how to use the external cable connector, but we might cover that in a later video. We also have multimeter probes that are actually pretty solid quality. Like stated before, you can plug these in at the bottom of the D11. There's also an alligator clip for the ground. With the D11, there's cables for all the X-Series models. The packaging of these cables looks pretty fancy to say the least. Now I'm connecting the Bluetooth adapter to a laptop so that we can use it with the JCID software. Now we're just quickly going to grab a motherboard from an iPhone X. Now that we have the iPhone X motherboard, we will grab the D11 test cables for the iPhone X. There is a total of 3 cables to cover all connectors. We are going to try the D11 on the dock connector of the iPhone X motherboard. For that in this case we will need the cable on the bottom. Let's plug it into the D11. And now we have to plug the other side on the iPhone X motherboard. Our battery was drained on arrival so we'll have to use a USB-C cable. You can turn the device on by pressing and holding the switch button. Now this device connects to the JCID intelligent drawing software. You can click refresh and it should show you the D11. Then you can click connect and select the part you want to test on the motherboard. You can select the part by double clicking it. It will say that you have selected the connector and then you can press start detection. Now here's probably my favorite part of this device. It will start testing every pin and it will also show on the D11 itself. Remember that the automatic measuring is only resistance, not voltage. Now that we have shown you how this looks on a perfectly normal motherboard, we will grab a motherboard that is not so intact. It doesn't take a motherboard repairing expert to see what's wrong with this motherboard. So let's plug it in and switch over to the JCID intelligent drawing software. Since we've already paired the D11, we can now just simply press start. And as you can see, incorrect values are marked with a red line. Now, on the box it states that it supports voltage, resistance, diode and short circuit measurement. This is true, but only the resistance measurement is automatic. The device is entirely wireless, so you're not bound to cables. However, for automatic measurement, you need a JCID Intelligent Drawing software license. It's just a really cool product and we wanted to show you this. You can order it through our web shop and it will be linked in the description. We hope this video has really shown you how convenient this device is. That was it for today, till next time.